Hello, good morning from Pedia. Hope everyone had a good weekend. So today's video is something very different, not, not condos and no Manu. I know it gets a bit boring after a while. So um, this video is gonna be a bit of a few different things. I'll be having a, a bit of a ride and a chat about my one year anniversary here in Thailand. Uh, yep, been here one year and one day now. And I'm gonna go and price up some scooters, some twist and go uh, motorbikes. So have a look at that. Uh, that's in Patia Central and then I'll ride to another another dealer down in Satterhip, which I think is a lot cheaper based on what someone's told me. And I'll even throw in a little clip from Siracha when I went to a Honda dealer up there. So uh, anyway, bear with me. I'm on the corner of Patia, Thai and Third Road at Midion. I'm gonna get some prices on um, on bikes again because prices have changed. Righto, so Midion Patia. They have the monopoly, as I've said. So I'm just gonna get you, when I say the monopoly, they own all the franchises here in Patia, except Tarly Davidson, of course, but just the run of the mill brands. And for a click, just a click one, two, five like this, you're looking at 58,300. That's including registration, but first class insurance is on top of that and they don't even offer it. So it's uh, interesting. And then click 160s, you can't get them with ABS at the moment for some reason, even though my mate Nick did, but he got his somewhere else in one of the last ones, I think. But a click 160 with ABS comes with a, a disc brake, but as you can see, this has got a drum. And click 160 is 62, sorry, 66,200 baht. And they've got them in stock here. And then TCX 160, like these. Not a bad bike, that was my first bike when I got here, but just found it a little bit too small for me. So the all up price with Rego is 101,800 101, baht. And while we're here, we've got the awesome ADV, Honda ADV 160. I rode one of these in Koh Samui, hired it, an awesome bike. And they're 108,100 baht right away. We've got the Captain America edition. And Aerox, I don't think they've got an Aerox in stock, but an Aerox is 75,800. And I've got the Japanese brands and Thai brands here too, but I'll, I'll just stick to the, the mainstream. They've got these Aprilia 200s. SR GT 200. And they're 151. 800 right away. And well, then you move over here to the X Maxes. So this is the new generation of Max. And they get the twin screens with built in Garmin GPS. And they are now 192 800. 10,000 baht more than I paid. 12 months ago. And the good old Honda Forza is 181.900. They've got this special edition here with all this purple stuff on it. Hyper Pro suspension technology. I'll try and find out how much more this is. So it's got different rear suspension. It's got this Hyper Pro rear shock. And the one I'm most interested in is the ADV 350 price. And that is 198 400. Yamaha NMAX 155. 
100, 100,000, 800 baht. So this special edition Piper Pro suspension technology Forza is 231, 900, but plus you've got to add 2,900 baht for Rego. And just getting back to the ADV, so confusing. They've got this Bluetooth model and the Bluetooth version, which is the one I've been quoted elsewhere in the video, is 202. 400. Well, they've got Vespers here. Well, there's Yamaha SR400, I think it is. In Thailand, they don't have to stick to um, MSRP or RP, RRP. So in Australia, it's recommended retail price, America and maybe Europe. That's manufacturer uh, selling price or something like that. Anyway, so what can I say about living in Thailand for 12 months? The good? Well, the good is the weather. Honestly, yes, it's hot, um, but you get, you kind of get acclimatised to it. Uh, you still sweat like hell. You just drink plenty of water. Uh, the cost of living is just awesome. Uh, the cost of Thai food is cheap. Um, Western food's not. Western food's very similar to your home country. But everything else is so good. The Thai people are just, seriously, they are just the nicest people. They are always happy, always smiling. And if, you, if you're polite to them, which is very easy to do, you just say hello and thank you and smile and they just unreal. You just don't get into an argument, don't get upset if they don't understand English. Just go along with it. Use Google Translator um, and yeah, don't get upset. That's my only advice. But yeah, I've learnt a lot and during that one year that I've been here, I've been putting together a I'll call it a guide for now, that will help anyone that's planning on coming here to scope out Hadia as a retirement destination or has decided to make the move. So I'll be announcing that in the, the next week or two. So I've just stopped to get fuel. You can see I've got two bars left, but it's done 287 k's on this tank. So. Uh, as I've talked about in previous videos, I get 300 k's to 300 baht basically. So that's uh, one baht per kilometre. Not bad. Good old girl. Well, not old. Good old Max. There you go. 300 baht, 7.91 litres, 37.95 baht per litre. And now I'm full. I'll continue. So I've ended up down in Rayong, it's Sunday, and I've just been along the beachfront. Oh man, there's so many ties out picnicking and they're not at all worried about the weather. It's been raining off and on and off, a few showers here and there. But I just stopped at a Honda dealer, Honda motorcycle dealer, and sure enough, it was a Midion dealer. Like I said, they've got the monopoly in uh, uh patio and they're down here and up in Siracha. they're probably i don't know bangkok too is I, I assume and i just got a price on an adv 350 and yep 201,600, including red joe and and the plate and all that kind of thing right away so uh, yeah, my recommendation is definitely shop around and um, I even showed them a price that I was quoted in uh, in Siracha and they don't, they just don't care. 
they just don't care. So, we've just got to remember we're in Thailand, we're in their country, not our home country, so it's just patience. And yes, there's Thai prices and Farang prices, foreigner prices. It's just the way it is. You just got to suck it up and accept it. And it's just a small downside to your own country. Things just are not the same. Trust me, the, there's so much good and so much positive. It far outweighs the small couple of small things that might be might get on your nerve just a little bit. Not nothing bad. And they drive funny, uh, but when I say drive funny, they when they turn into a street or a soy, they do it like they're driving a semi trailer. So it's like. Check out this tiny little electric, I don't know what you call it, a car or a motorbike. It's got four wheels. I think Lucas from Ride for Kicks did a, a story on these things. A YouTube clip. Hello. <laughs> it's amazing. So I've just stopped at another dealer in downtown Rayong get their price on a ADV 350 and they've got two models a, a non-bluetooth model and a bluetooth model 188 600 versus mini on just down the road that were over 200 it's just amazing yeah okay so <clears throat> about 10 minutes south of Bang Saray and Banks Ray is only 25 minutes, 30 minutes max from Patia. I've come to this Honda dealer. And just as an example, a ADV 350 road sync with the Bluetooth is exactly 20,000 baht cheaper than Midion. So they only have Hondas. Their PCXs and Clicks a similar price the ADV 160 but it's the bigger bikes where the where the discount is so uh, there you go there's some pricing on bikes and a bit of an update so uh, thanks for watching